I want to give you guys a look at Rutherford Fortium. Well, you're not going to see it, and nobody's going to see it because we have not created a visible sample of it ever. The closest I'll ever get to it is this piece of 99.4% pure hafnium. This is about 9 grams, and hafnium is a metal right above rather fortium. It's not ultra pure, but it's still quite pure, and I kind of like it. I, I, I pretty much think this is a pretty neat sample. And if you were to have um, rubber fortium, it would probably look similar to this, but the difference is that rubber fortium is extremely unstable, and it has half-lives measured in minutes. Like, it can live, I think, somewhere in between 10 minutes and 1 hour for its most common isotopes, but its most stable one lives about 13 hours. Of course, 13 hours is absolutely not enough to study its physical properties. But, we have made a few predictions about it, like, first of all, its appearance. It would appear as a silvery white metal that is hard, and can form these weird looking shapes when you grow it on a rod or something, kind of like this piece of zirconium that I have. I believe this was grown on a rod. And that's why you have this weird hexagon shape. And we also got titanium, which would be pretty similar to it. But I decided to buy a one-inch cube of it because it's quite cool as well because it gives you the volume of titanium based on its density per cubic inch. And... Next up is Rutherfordium's density, which is predicted to be 17 grams per cubic centimeter. Because titanium measures about, um, it says here, 4.51 grams per cubic centimeter. I'm pretty sure zirconium measures 8 grams per cubic centimeter. And hafnium is 13 grams per cubic centimeter. So if you do this pattern a bit deeper, you would find out that, um, Rubber fortium's density would be about 17 grams per cubic centimeter. And next up is its melting and boiling point. Its melting point is predicted to be 2,100 degrees Celsius, or 3,812 degrees Fahrenheit. And its boiling point is about 9,900 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not confirmed yet. These are just predictions. Anyway, that's it.